Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So I'm going to continue with the spreadsheet functions um, playlist today and we're going to be looking at using um, the lookup function. So we're on lesson 14. So please check out the previous videos where we've completed these activities here. Um, in the last video, we looked at HLOOKUP in this set of videos and now we're going to be looking at using only the lookup function. Okay, so let me zoom in a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so with a VLOOKUP normally, let me just go back a few lessons here. When you are doing a VLOOKUP normally, um, you have a lookup value and then the outputs will be to the right, typically when you are using a VLOOKUP. Uh, with the lookup, one advantage is you can go backwards. So this will be the lookup value and the outputs will be in this columns here. So we'll get the names at some point for here and then a branch for this column. So we're going to be going backwards. So that's one of the advantages of using the lookup function. So let's go ahead and start. So um, I'll do it up here so you guys can see. Let me zoom in a little bit actually. And there we go. So what we need to do is we need to look up the order ID. So the order ID is going to match up with the order ID here. And um, then we need to output the salesperson name. So you can't use a VLOOKUP for this because obviously we need to be looking backwards um, to output um, particular information. And the VLOOKUP doesn't allow for that. So this is the lookup function. Uh, looks up a value either from one row or one column range or from an array and it's provided for backwards compatibility. So that's why we're going to be using this for the first example. And I'm going to click up here. So what are we looking up? We're looking up the order ID, comma. The lookup vector is where is this order ID? And we don't need to highlight more than one column like we did with the VLOOKUP. We can just highlight one column like this, okay? And then the next thing we need to do is we need to lock this. So obviously we lock this and, and then if we drag this formula down, this is going to stay in one place. So I can use function and F4 on my computer to lock cells. It may be a case you need to try use shift and F4. Um, if you can't lock the cells, then just put a dollar sign be before each letter and before each number. And then the results vector, what are we looking up? So the first example we're trying to find is the name. So let me highlight these names here. Let me lock close the bracket, and what we're expecting to see is Lionel Messi is the first output because 4541 matches up with this order ID, and then that matches up with this um, name here. Then we can drag this down. Zlatan Ibrahimovic was the next name, so we can see 4544, which is this one here, and it matches up to this name here. Okay, so let me find the branch um, for each person. Um, I'm going to use the order ID again um, because this is, seems to be unique. Names can always be repeated. So again, we're going to use the lookup function. And what we're looking up, the order ID again. And we're trying to find a branch. So where can we find the order ID first of all? It's going to be in this range. Let's lock, comma. And the results vector is going to be from this range. So notice for the lookup function, we're only highlighting one column at a time. We don't need to highlight the whole table. And let's close the bracket. So Lionel Messi works in Leeds. Zlatan Ibrahimovic works in London. So let's see if we're getting that. Yeah, and Edison Cavani. Uh, He's working in Manchester and Cristiano Ronaldo is also working in Manchester as well. Right, um, so that's the first part done. Okay, we're now going to be using a lookup function to complete task two. So using a barcode, so this is a barcode here, look up the item name, okay, and a supply code for each item. So what we have is a horizontal um, range here and a vertical range here. And for this to work, we need to have equal values. So we have four uh, values here and four values here. So if we look up the first value in this horizontal range is going to match with the first value here. If I look up the third value in a horizontal range here, it's gonna match up the third value in a vertical range here. 
So the first thing we need to do is we get the, we need to output the name for each um, item using a barcode. So this barcode is 4542, which is this one here. So we should see eggs being returned since this is in the second position and this is in the second position of this range. So look up. And I'll do it up here. So what we're looking up, the barcode. The lookup vector, we want to look up the barcodes in this range here. Let's lock it. Comma. And the results vector is we want to output the information from this range. So we're looking for the item name. And we should see eggs for the first one. Yes. And then for the second one, four, five, four, three. It's the third one. So we should, should see bread. Yeah. And let's do the supplier code. So equals look up again. We're looking up the barcode, comma, and we want to look it up in this uh, vector here, this lookup vector. So this barcode 4542 is the second one. And what we're looking for now in the results vector is the supply code. So we're going to highlight these values here. And what we should see is MA455 because the barcode is in the second position here, and then we should output a second value from this array here, or this um, selected column or range of cells. Yep, that's done. So you can see the advantage of using lookup. Um, if you see a question where the outputs are going to be on the other side of the lookup value, so typically the outputs to be to the right, and then in this case, you'd have to use a VLOOKUP. However, if the outputs are looking like they're on the other side, then you probably would have to use a lookup uh, function. If, I just click on here, the lookup vector and the results vector, one is horizontal, one is vertical, then again, you can use the lookup function. So I hope guys that makes sense, a quick tutorial on using the lookup function. Please join me in the next tutorial. We're going to be looking at using the X lookup. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please drop your comments below, subscribe to the channel, and please share with your friends. Okay, thank you very much. Bye-bye.